Wow, what a year it's been. Award-winning, in fact. As RPAP enthusiastically rebrands its awards, the Rhapsody Awards. We celebrate each Rhapsody Award winner, including this hot dog loving physician, with a video, provide funding towards a celebration event, and make a donation to the recipient's favorite charity. Awards include the Physician Rhapsody, the Community Rhapsody, and the new Healthcare Heroes Award. Way to go to the inaugural recipients, the much loved Dr. David Welsh from Peace River, the deeply committed Pembina Physician Recruitment and Retention Committee, the Clean as a Whistle Height Continuing Care Team, the Squirrel Friendly Sundry Hospital and Care Team, and the fun loving, hard working Peace River Operating Room Team. The colorful awards were designed and crafted by Julia Reimer, a rural artisan from Black Diamond. It takes her five days to heat the furnace up to 1400 degrees Celsius. Ouchie mama, that's hot. But the result is certainly worth it. Speaking of award winning, we think this year's Rural Health Week promotion was the biggest and best ever. The public gives a shout out to the health professionals in the area that means so much to them. Everyone is invited to join the conversation at hashtag and on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Response is tremendous as communities and individuals show their appreciation for the contributions of rural health professionals in enhancing the quality of life in rural Alberta. Once again, RPAP introduces urban students to rural health care and lifestyle. At post-secondary skills weekends, students learn skills from rural professionals that will prove to be valuable assets in their future careers. And they have a lot of fun too, experiencing the rural lifestyle from the bouncy pillow in Peace River. The bucking bulls and flying paintballs in Toefield to the roar of drag racing in Rimby. It's all about networking. Tell your friends. Rural Alberta is alive and well and it's doing great and good place to live and, and, and to work. RPAP's Grow Your Own Skills events for rural high school students are becoming even more popular. And they're a big hit with students as they look forward to life after high school. Oh yeah, I would recommend this. This has been a great opportunity and besides lunch is free, so. RPAP sponsored skills events are a hands-on introduction to healthcare and an opportunity for instructors to share why practicing in your own rural community can be so rewarding. So I have a passion for it. I'm very compassionate about nursing. After 20 years, I still love my work. It was a year that saw Esther Suter embark on an ambitious research project for our PAP. No, not bird watching, but uncovering the key strategies that make a rural community successful at attraction and retention. Esther interviews committee volunteers, administrators, and health professionals and their spouses from all over rural Alberta. She delivers a report that will become the go-to playbook for attraction and retention committees going forward. RPAP recognizes the need for health professionals to have affordable access to expand their skills. So we provide funding to offset registration costs for courses like CARE, Comprehensive Approaches to Rural Emergencies. 48 physicians, nurses, and paramedics work in teams to solve realistic emergency scenarios at care courses in Brooks and Rocky Mountain House. RPAP also funds Emergency Department ECHO, or EDE, Point of Care Ultrasound Boot Camps. Long name, amazing results. Ultrasound is being called the stethoscope of the 21st century. Here, rural physicians come to Claire's home to learn ultrasound skills that will greatly improve diagnosis and care for patients in emergency. RPAP also supports training in enhanced surgical skills. In Brooks, RPAP funds a first-of-its-kind emergency cesarean hysterectomy course. Physicians and nurses work in teams to perform emergency hysterectomies on artificial tissue. I encourage physicians all over to Alberta that provides enhanced surgical skills and, and obstetrical skills to, to participate in a course like this. RPAP hosts Mobilizing the Village workshops in Beaver Lodge and Three Hills. 
participants from rural communities learn skills to help them grow as community leaders and how to make their community healthy, strong, and vibrant. Even an air freshener needs refreshing sometimes. So did our website. After months of planning, rpap.ca revamps with a clean, user-friendly design. Navigation is easier and search is much improved. Throughout the year, RPAP promotes rural practice and lifestyle by sharing inspiring stories. From a rural physician who ties up the laces for the old dogs in Grimshaw, to a registered nurse in Rocky Mountain House who loves motorcycling with her family, to an LPN who loves Swan Hills, an outdoor lover's paradise. We profile each of our board members, and along the way, we discover a manure spreader that's yard art, a horse named Bentley, and a smudge ceremony. RPAP attends and hosts sponsor booths at numerous conferences of key stakeholders. Organizations such as the Alberta Medical Association and the Rural Municipalities of Alberta. We also provide funding for events, like the Sendoscopy Skills Day in Banff and the Nurse Practitioners Association of Alberta Conference. We couldn't have done this without our pap. And we weren't afraid to lift our swords either and have some fun. Hi, matey. Happy International Talk Like a Pirate's Day. Arr, that wraps up the past year. It truly was an extremely successful operation. We look forward to the year ahead as RPAP beefs up its efforts to be an even stronger voice for rural health care in Alberta. <laughs>